On October 7, 2022, I was scheduled to preach at a church in Waterford, Michigan, New Wine Ministries Church with Pastors Victor and Tammy Torres. I had never been to this church, nor had I ever been to that part of Michigan. So I was excited to have this opportunity to go there and speak, and I had prepared myself with the message that I thought that I was going to be delivering that night. However, that morning at 3.30 a.m., I was awakened in my hotel room by the sound of a car alarm that was going off outside the window. And even though it was a physical uh, alarm, car alarm that was sounding, what I was hearing was an alarm that was sounding in the spirit. And instantly when I heard that alarm, I sat up in my bed and I began to feel the weighty presence of the Lord just come into my room. And immediately I heard a question. Who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness, leaning on her beloved? And I heard the answer immediately. It is the remnant warriors in Michigan who have not forgotten me, and they have not forgotten my promises. They have set me and set my word as a seal upon their hearts, and they have not relinquished their faith in me. Now I am leading them out of a wilderness place. Their path is becoming brighter clearly revealed as in the brightness of the noonday sun. Then I saw the name Michigan spelled out, and the letters began to scramble around, and then words were added to form this sentence, Michigan will see me again. And I heard the Lord say, I am coming in power to visit this land, and I am releasing even now through my awakened body a flow of unstoppable power that will set things in motion to reveal and to uncover, then to revive and recover. Then, it was as if in this vision, I was seeing the whole state of Michigan, like on a map. And the Lord showed to me waters that were bubbling up out of the ground in the center of the state, like a geyser that was ready to erupt. And he said to me, there is a swell of an underground current that is rising up out of this state and it will burst forth and form into a wave of justice that will impact the nation. My roar, he said, will be heard from this state. Then he showed to me a wave building from that now erupting geyser. In this wave, I could see what looked like um, a lion's face, the face of a lion, and the wave was cresting. I could hear a mighty roar coming out of this wave. And the Lord said, where you were once muzzled, I am giving you your voice back. I am making you as my mouthpiece and out of you, I will release my sound, my roar, like the sound of many waters and it will reverberate throughout the nation. The Lord then reminded me of a word that he had given to me back on February 9, 2020. And it was as if I was hearing this word again, but this time I was hearing him, him speaking this word over the state of Michigan. And he said, my power is twirling. It is an unstoppable spin that is breaking the surface to relieve the pressure of the swell of my manifested glory. He used the word swell 
um, in the sense of a collection of waves that form one long, massive, and continuous wave. He continued, Reformation is pushing forth. The die has been cast and it cannot be stopped. The geyser is ready to be released. He said, What has been concealed will now be revealed. Watch it gush forth and release the pressure of the swell and reveal the river of my prevailing glory. Then I saw again Michigan on a map, the state of Michigan, but I didn't see the state in the shape of a mitten like people normally identify the state, but I saw it as a boxing glove. And I heard the Lord say, I am about to deliver a knockout blow from this state of Michigan. It is an unexpected and fatal blow to a major agenda that has been at work in this nation. My intercessors have been lacing up the glove with their prayers, with their obedience and intercession. Now I will put my hand in the glove and I will strike the blow from this upper state. I will deliver a shocking uppercut and a giant will fall. At the time when I received this word that morning, I had no feeling that this word had anything to do with the elections that were coming up uh, the next month. But what I felt was that the Lord was speaking strongly to the ecclesia in the state of Michigan. Uh, as a matter of fact, the word started out with the question, who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness? And his answer was, it's the remnant warriors in the state of Michigan who have not forgotten me and they have not forgotten my word. They have set me as a seal upon their heart and they have not relinquished their faith in me. So I felt, and I even preached that night at New Wine Ministries there in Waterford, that what God was doing at that time, he was dealing with the body of Christ. I believe this word was actually an encouragement from the Lord to those remnant warriors there in Michigan. And he was saying to you, I have seen you. I do see you. I have not forgotten you. And I have not forgotten what I have promised. This is the time, he said, when I am bringing you out of a wilderness season and you will see me again. He was readjusting focus, I felt. He was renewing minds. He was strengthening your resolve for what was coming in 2023 and beyond. I believe he was reminding the remnant warriors in the state of Michigan that he has great purpose uh, for you. It is about Michigan, but it's not just about Michigan. It is about the nation, and it is not just political, but it's spiritual. He said there is a swell of glory that is ready to burst forth in this state. So I believe God was saying he needed the ecclesia there to be alert, to be strengthened with fresh hope and fresh expectation for the future that was about to unfold. And I believe what we are seeing unfold right now in the nation and what we are feeling right now in the nation, this urgency uh, of this movement of the Spirit of God. I believe that what God was speaking to us even back then in October, He was speaking to us concerning what we are now beginning to see unfold. And so he was refreshing us. He was, uh, uh, there was a regrouping and a realignment that was taking place throughout the entire body of Christ because he was preparing us for this exact moment, I believe, that we are now in. 
there was such an awareness of God. There is such an awareness of God right now that is happening in our nation. There is an awareness of the reality of Jesus that is spreading like wildfire right now throughout our nation and even through the nations of the world. The move of God that began in Asbury University a couple of weeks ago is spreading now. And it, it, it this movement is becoming the central focus of social media. It is now becoming the focus of, of news media outlets. So right now in our nation and in the nations of the world, there is such an awareness of God. There is such an awareness of the reality of Jesus right now. And so the moment has come for the church to step up and run, run with the fire of God into this moment. And so I believe back in October, what God was doing, he was exhorting the ecclesia, the body of Christ as a whole, but the ecclesia there in Michigan, he was exhorting you, see me, See me and be that wave that is releasing my roar into this nation. Be my mouthpiece, he said. Allow God to work through you to bring this spiritual reformation that will impact Michigan, but it will also have an impact on the entire nation. There are things that can happen right now that could not happen before, even back in October when God spoke this word. So God came ahead of time with this word to Michigan to spark in you a refreshing in those remnant warriors there in the state of Michigan to say to you, I still have a plan and you, Michigan, have a place in that plan. So I just exhort you today. Take hold of this word. God speaks with intent to perform. His plan is unfolding. We're in it. We are seeing it. It is coming to pass. Um, it is here, but it's coming, meaning that we're in it, but it's only going to intensify. It's going to even grow more and more in the days ahead. God has given us his verdict for this nation. America shall be saved. And Michigan, you have a part to play in that. So receive this word as revelation and confirmation to you. It is still true. It is still relevant for right now. And it will continue to be relevant as God unfolds it even more in the days ahead. And I believe God is aligning the state of Michigan for great things that are now unfolding, but also for greater things that are still yet to come.